Hey guys, welcome back to another sports stuff video. Today we're doing a quick video just talking about the NFL schedule release and about all the big games that I'm really excited for coming up in this season. So if you do enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified when I post next. Let's get into the video. So, a couple of games I want, I'm really excited to see. A lot of them are, are actually week one. So week one, um, the Packers and the Broncos both play at 425 on Sunday, meaning that no matter what, where Aaron Rodgers goes, we will see him week one prime time. Now, it's not exactly prime time, but 425 is usually when a lot of people get out of church. You know, they, they leave their religious gatherings, they come home after lunch, and they turn on the TV, the first, you know, the first game they can see. So no matter what, we will see Aaron Rodgers, we'll either see Aaron Rodgers on the NFC or the AFC side week one uh, in somewhat prime time. I think it to be, I, I consider 425 on Sunday pretty prime time, because it's usually only about two or three games. No matter what station you click over to, you're going to be able to see Aaron Rodgers. Also that week, the Buccaneers and the Cowboys do play, which I'm really excited for. I'm excited to see Dak back from his injury and see, you know, how the Super Bowl hang-up for the Buccaneers is actually going to work this season. I don't know if it's going to be a big Super Bowl, Super Bowl hangover, but I think there is definitely going to be a couple weeks of, like, you know, they're still working on getting back in the form and, you know, mindset about to win another one. Week two is Chiefs versus Ravens. I'm excited to see that match up again. Uh, so far, the Chiefs have the Ravens number whenever they face off in the regular season. And I believe also in the uh, postseason, they have their number. But especially in the regular season, uh, they've really, really uh, been able to destroy the Ravens every time they meet up. Week five, the Bills at Chiefs rematch of the AFC Championship game. I'm excited to see how the Bills are going to recover from, you know, potentially... They're, you know, the, 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 the death kneel, and if they'll make another Super Bowl run, uh, they'll probably make the playoffs again, but I don't know if they're going to make the AFC Championship game the, uh, this year. There's a lot of really good talent at the top end of the AFC. Um, week 4, uh, Buccaneers at Patriots. Oh, I'm excited for that story. I'm excited to see Tom Brady return to Gillette Stadium for the first time in his Buccaneers uh, uniform. Uh, I'm, I'm excited to see what he's able to, what he's gonna be able to do. Um, is he able to light up the you know the light up the field? Is that when their offense is finally gonna start clicking? And same with the defense uh, after the Super Bowl win. And then on Christmas, the Cleveland Browns are at the Green Bay Packers on Christmas. I'm excited for that for so many reasons. Um, the Browns are my hometown babies, right? I love the Browns so much. So to see them get a Christmas Day game against the Green Bay Packers, two storied franchises going through like shifts in the momentum of their franchises. Browns going for the positive, pa Packers, and they trade Aaron Rodgers are gonna be going down a little bit. But if Aaron Rodgers is still a Packers, but if Aaron Rodgers is still a Packer by Christmas time, that's gonna be one great game. That's, that's gonna be a hell of a game. I think that's potential of being uh being a shootout like a multiple touchdown shootouts between the two teams uh that's gonna really be an offensive game i i think probably the browns will win that uh beating the packers but that's gonna be one hell of a game i'm excited for the seahawks have a couple games i like uh the chargers actually have a lot of games i favor in their opinion i think the chargers can make a pretty good run but speaking more about the browns their bye week lies right in between two Ravens games. So as you know, in the NFL, uh, you face your division opponents twice each year. So the Browns face the Ravens, Steelers, and Bengals twice a year. The way the schedule laid out was we're away at the Ravens, then our bye week, then home Ravens, home Steelers, home Bengals. Three divisional opponents in a row coming off a bye week. That is a full month of not traveling. That is heavily in the Browns' favor, but Week One Chiefs against the Browns will be a big, it's gonna be a big, uh, big question mark filler. See and figure out like, hey, what are we gonna do? Uh, you know, are we gonna be able to beat the Chiefs Week One? You know, they do have they do they do have a new offensive line, but we have nine new defensive starters. You know, it's gonna be very interesting to see where the two franchises are at Week One. A couple of the schedules I like overall is uh, the Dallas. Nine of Dallas's opponents had a losing record last season including the entire NFC East, obviously, but I mean, the Cowboys do face the Saints, Bucks, and Chiefs, but besides that, nine of Dallas's opponents had a losing record, which is insane. I mean, that if Dallas can come out, you know, clicking on every, you know, syllable, I think they, I think they can probably make a playoff run. 
Apparently, the Philadelphia Eagles will not have to get on a plane past week 10. Everything is drivable, and also they have a lot of home games as well. So the fact that for eight weeks straight, uh, Philadelphia won't have to travel heavily is really much in their favor. I'm excited to see Trevor Lawrence week one. I'm, I'm, I am I'm a buyer of the hype of Trevor Lawrence. Uh, obviously, I would love to see Justin Fields week one, but I don't think he's going to be starting week one. Um, but Trevor Lawrence, we know will. Jags versus Texans. Trevor Lawrence should be able to put up good numbers week one. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he sets a record for like the most passing yards or touchdowns or completions week one by a rookie. I'm excited to see what he can do in the NFL. But man, that is just my quick breakdown. If you guys do want to see every single game, I'll link in the description and ES uh, I'll link in the description a website that lists every single game for every single team and what week they are. So if you want to go and buy tickets, I'll be buying a Browns ticket probably around the end of the season where we'll be on the playoff push. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.